Right, our next presenter is Nicholas Durr from MIT. Hey. Hi, hello everyone. Uh, I am a founder of Planoptica, and we're building a low-cost device to accurately prescribe eyeglass prescriptions at the push of a button. The reason we're doing this is that right now there's over a billion people worldwide that have poor vision just because they don't have the eyeglasses they need. This is a huge problem in places like India and China, where you can actually buy a pair of prescription eyeglasses for just two to four dollars. So the problem here is not the cost of the eyeglasses. The problem is there's a global shortage of optometrists to provide eyeglass prescriptions. Planoptica is going to tackle this problem with the QuickSeat. It's a low-cost, uh, handheld, fast, and uh, easy-to-use device uh, that provides an accurate eyeglass prescription. Essentially, what we've done is we've figured out and invented a way to perform ocular wavefront aperometry on a handheld $100 device. Uh, and we've patented this technology. We validated it in an 86 uh, humanized uh, clinical trial at the New England College of Optometry. And we've also done some preliminary field testing in India. So we know that we can give this device uh, to a vision technician, teach her how to use it in about five minutes, and then she can measure both eyes in a one minute test. So this is our product. How are we going to commercialize it? Well, that starts with our team. We're three uh, PhDs out of MIT uh, with experience in optics, electronics, and entrepreneurialism. Uh, we have found an, a very uh, collaborative and important partner in Orla. Uh, they are one of the leading low-cost ophthalmic equipment manufacturers in the world. Uh, they are based in India and partners with Arvind Eye Hospital, which is the biggest eye hospital in the world. So our plan is to work with them uh, and to move our prototype to a product. Uh, and we will have a royalty uh, model with them. So they can use their existing sales channels to sell the quick seed to the, to the low resource world. Uh, and then we envision there will be a maintenance or calibration contract that goes along with the device. Now, after that, we'll use uh, Orlab as a contract manufacturer to sell a higher end device to the uh, more developed countries. Uh, under the Planoptica brand. Uh, we anticipate we need about $2 million in funding to get through uh, two years of development. Uh, and then in the two to three year time period, we'll be able to break even with our uh, cumulative cash flow. Uh, we've uh, generated a lot of momentum in uh, entrepreneurial competitions and have networked uh, pretty extensively in the, the Boston community. Uh, and I think we have good validation and feedback that, that we really are onto something. And then we also have another grant in the pipeline with Morlab uh, as a co-PM, so they're, they're a committed partner. At Planoptica, we think that poor vision due to uncorrected refractive errors is a problem that shouldn't exist in the 21st century. But we're building the quick seat to do something about it. We're Planoptica, and our mission is I care for all. Thank you. filed at MIT. Uh, they cover six inventions. Uh, I don't want to get into the, the, the details of the claims and everything, but uh, they encompass the user interface, uh, the algorithm. Um, so uh, these are the innovations that have enabled us to do it with uh, really low cost components. A little bit on that. Um, some of the markets you're targeting, you need uh, the dubious uh, IP uh, legal structures. Uh, how much did you spend time discussing how predictable your patents are? Discussing? Yeah, so um, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, in, so we've been encouraged not to pursue uh, patent protection in China. Uh, in India, I think times are, are changing just over the last year and, year and two years. Um, so I think for those markets, we're relying on the expertise of Orla and, and their, their uh, their operation is to, uh, they, they just deliver low cost, high quality products. They, they uh, have experience getting CE market and FDA approval, so they can have those uh, market advantages even if they don't have, they don't have to litigate to get exclusive IP rights. Could you describe the relationship with Dora Lab a little bit more? I mean, exclusive on either side, and why not just bring the money through them? Bring the money through them. 
Uh, so yeah, our, our partnership is still developing. Uh, we visited them about six months ago. Uh, they came to Boston and visited us a couple months ago. Uh, we've uh, written a grant proposal together, and they, they, they really want the device. Uh, so they're, uh, they're, I think, committed partners. We haven't signed anything yet, um, but they are on board with the project. How, uh, you said it takes about a minute. How easy is it to use, and can you use it in highlight applications yep. or areas where there's a lot of light? Uh, yeah, you can. So it, it's it's uh, it's it's pretty easy to use. You, you hold it up to your eye, and you see a red red dot. Uh, you push a button, and you get the description. Um, we have uh, you, you can see sort of in the device here. We have covers on the front and back, so uh, we we uh, filter out the the ambient light, and you can use it outside if no problem. How much of your projections are based on the uh, work in the uh, developing countries versus the, uh, um, the device with all the bells and whistles for the developed world? Yeah, it's, it's almost all uh, developing country. Uh, so for our penetration rates, I think uh, for this graph we've only gone out four years and I think we have 1% uh, U.S. market penetration by the fourth year. Uh, so those numbers are, are, are almost all from uh, developing world members. Second place, $5,000, Plan Optica Eye Care for All.